Welcome to another Ask Excite. I'm Tim Bushnell with Expert Cytometry, and today's question comes from John, who writes, How do you detect a dim signal when sorting? That's a great question. So let's talk about that scenario. I have GFP cells that are poorly expressing the GFP fluorescent marker, so it's dim. We know that marker is going to be measured in a channel that's also impacted by autofluorescence. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the next channel in the in the detector pathway, so for example a PE, and then I'm going to make a bivariate plot where I'm going to have GFP on the x-axis and PE on the y-axis. My autofluorescence is going to be on the diagonal, so my true GFP will be moving along the x-axis, separating itself from the autofluorescence, so I'll be able to actually draw a gate around the true GFP signal. This technique works when you're trying to look at any dim signal and you can open up that second channel, and it's really useful to separate out the true positive from the background. Remember, if you have more questions, go to getflowtraining.com to learn more. And if you have a question you want answered here, please send it to askexcite at expertcytometry.com. Thanks for another Ask Excite. Until next time, be sure to keep up with your best practices in flow cytometry right here with your friends in flow, Tim and Team Excite.